Hi everyone, it's Beck Beattie here today with a card that I've created for Ruby Rocket, Bella Fundamentals. And this card is a quite a sweet vintage style card. Lots of layering and lots of fun going on in there. So I just started out with uh, the iWood collection and creating some wood panels to create a little bit of a picket fence. And so I've just torn the edges and I'm inking the edges up with the old paper and tattered rose distress inks from Tim, Tim Holtz. And here I've taken some of the Faded Empire collection papers and just with some white gesso I've added uh, with the back of a paintbrush. I sort of dripped it in a circle to add those sort of splattery, that splattery circle and also some little splatters um, by watering it down. So I'm trimming it into quite a, a strong square. Uh, at that stage, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. I um, sort of created the picket fences and then I created the circle and I'm like, these aren't really going to work together because the picket fence is going to cover the circle. So I do sort of change up the design a little bit and uh, here you can see me just adding a little bit of dimension behind each of the picket fences and I've teamed that up with a darker pattern paper uh, behind that sheet now and uh, now I've just decided to add in an additional piece of the pattern paper uh, this time uh, just tearing the edges and inking it up again uh, just to add to that sort of vintagey feel and uh, just giving them all a bit of a, a ruffled edge um, going on there and uh, again I've just added another square and I've just run that through the distress tool just to quicken up the process a little bit and as you can see I'm just adding layers of the paper you can see that creates a really beautiful effect um, almost like layers of material the paper's really sweet with the design and all the different sort of elements in it really gives that beautiful uh, sort of material type feel to it here I've just adhered down the the picket fence uh, as I've gone along so that paper's out of the I wood collection and creates a really cute picket fence and I wanted to add uh, basically some nails so I've used uh, some of the Fun Stampers Journey um, the silks and I've just added some of the silver on there now that circle that I had before I decided to add some stitching so I added some sewing just over the circle in quite a few lay layers so just messy circle and now I'm just tearing it out and distressing it up and just going to ink that up a little bit uh, so that uh, gives that a little bit more depth to it and a little bit more finish and just um, curling up the edges a little bit. So I've layered that circle on there now and just really adding a lot of layers as I go. So here's just another layer with uh, some cream twine and just adding that in and, and adhering it down with some glue. I now wanted to um, add some fun sort of elements to it so I'm using the uh, bolt die cuts here and um, just layering up those elements um, for a cute sort of feminine card really sort of vintagey feel um, with those old patterns and the, the tape measure and that sort of stuff so I really enjoyed how that sort of came together and gave it a real vintage feel and just finishing it off with one of those uh, chipboard buttons as well and wanted to make sure I had a sentiment on there. I love these packs of the stickers, uh, the alpha sets, and they have words and alphas and everything in there. So I've just added the celebrate work word on there. Uh, I wanted to give my card base just a bit more of a um, vintagey feel. So I've just added a bit of the gelatos in the gold and the metallic uh, melon in there and um, just smooth that over with a baby wipe just to give it a bit more uh, of a vintage feel. Uh, stay, stay on the video for some more photos and uh, also a full product list at the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. I uh, hope I've inspired you to get creating today and if you are not usually a vintage uh, style uh, paper crafter, maybe you might want to give it a go. I often don't do vintage style very often so I really enjoyed creating this one for you. Thanks very much. Have a nice day.